are live. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> I had to start with that photo. Is that the cutest thing ever? Welcome. This is Wednesday, Facebook Live, behind the scenes. I'm Angela Wolf, and I have two guests with my with me, with myself today. Hold on, let me get rid of that photo. We have Reen. Hi. From Embroidery Garden. Hi, Reen. And we have Carrie from Designs with Carrie. So these girls have made the little trip up to hang out with me today. We have some really fun Christmas craft projects. So girls, scooch in just a wee bit so they can see you. They're not going to be shy. <laughs> and then we're over here on Behind the Scenes Live from Instagram because they're seeing the behind the scenes going. So if we drop anything or make a mess, <laughs> they get to see that. So hey, guys. I see you all rolling in. So give me a heart. Let me know you can hear me. And there's nothing crazy with Echo. So before I get started, you guys have to see this photo. My sister just sent this to me and I was crying. I was laughing so hard. So here you go. Is this the Christmas photo of the day or what? Carter is not liking Santa at all. <laughs> Zippo. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Isn't that a precious? So I'll wait one sec. I, hey, Amy. I know that a lot of you sent me private notes and said you were traveling for the holidays. So hopefully you were able to pop in, say hi today. You can always watch it on repeat. <laughs> Everybody's laughing. Hi, Esther. So um, a couple of things rolled in. I have to tell you, I just received this beautiful gift. And Peggy, I have to tell you, I cannot believe this. So this came all the way from Canada. Peggy made this. This isn't just a little piece. This is huge. I absolutely love it. She said she knows I love lace, which I do. And she said uh, she made this entire thing. So Peggy, if you're on here, you have to say hi because I this is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna make sure I get it out of the way of our crafting project. <laughs> All right, so this is what our plan is today. I am going to show you how to fill your Christmas balls. <laughs> I know we had a little joke on this earlier with glitter. All right. And we showed you this yesterday. If you missed this, this was Cindy's. Should I see this? We are going to be filling our Christmas balls with glitter. Reen has some projects she's going to show. All of these are quick, easy things you could do. Some embroidery, some sewing, and Carrie has some projects as well. So if you guys are ready, we are going, lovely lace, everybody says, we are ready too. And tomorrow, by the way, I'm going to give you a little teaser on this one. Let me see if I can bring this up here. If you guys have any comments or questions for Reen and Carrie, they're also going to take time to answer these. Yep. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining, too. In case you missed it, you're live, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to make this just a little bit wider and show you this photo. Where is the... Goodness gracious. Of course, it won't move. i got one more photo to show you guys. Here you go. Pretty. Wow. See this? This is what I'm showing you how to make tomorrow. I do a lot of DIY, which I know everybody thinks, oh my gosh. So that wreath with lights and everything, that will be a tomorrow tutorial because it's one on its own and I make a huge mess worse than this. So. Sorry, guys. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I go any further, I'm back. Sorry about that. My sister Julie sent me these last year, and this is such a cute idea. I, if you have little beer bottles, little Coke bottles, anything like that, she painted on these. Are these cute or what? And put a little thing on the top. Aren't these fun? Here's another one. I tried to call Julie. Julie, if you're on here, say hi. Because that is so fun. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Reen, let's start with you. Okay. What do you got going for us? I'm going to bring this camera over here without making anybody seasick. All right. I brought something for our pets. Dogs like Christmas, too. Everyone in our family, we have five dogs, is getting a dog bow. These were really quick and easy to make. The bow is basically a rectangle. I think I cut them. I have a dachshund. So these are sides for him right now. It's a four by five inch rectangle, right sides together. Sew it, leave an opening. The uh, strap, I cut it five inches wide by about 15 inches long, folded it and 
put Velcro on each end. And it Got goes it. around his neck. So it's kind of adjustable. Let me see this. This is really cute. Hold on. I'm going to bring this up here. Can you guys see us? This would be <laughs> <laughs> chokers. I could give this to win. <laughs> so let me show you up a little closer. So there's Velcro, in case you missed that. And these are adorable. You're going to see another version of this for humans in a second from Carrie. But although I kind of like that Velcro, I think this could be for a human. Yeah. <laughs> this has got little dachshunds on it. But um, these were very, very quick and easy. And, you know, I'm kind of tired of giving the dogs toys that get torn up before, <laughs> you know, Christmas is even over. That's so. understandable. I had those. So that's a fun one. If you guys have any questions on that post, I see. <laughs> Someone saying, how, how, <laughs> Carrie, uh, Sandy wants to know, um, not Carrie, I always say Sandy Cunningham, Sandy wants Cunningham. to know, uh, tell her how to get her cat to sit still for the holiday so she can. <laughs> <laughs> I see Linda says she sees an Angela thread cutter. Yes, yeah. thread cutters. <laughs> Carrie's got one too. I have one too. Really. Yeah. Aren't these cool? <laughs> New thread cutters. Love these. Just don't flip your hair. <laughs> All right, so Carrie, you want to go next, and then we'll go back to um, Reen over here. Yes, yeah, so since we're talking about bow ties, we'll continue to talk about bow ties. But aren't these adorable? One for dad, one for son, and these say ho, ho. If I turn it up, up right. <laughs> they say ho, ho, ho. So these made the same so way. Cute. They're triangles, or rectangles, rather, and it's two of them, so you get a little bit more uh, oomph in there. I like the double layer. I like yeah, it's that. a double layer. Makes it a little more sturdy, I think. And then mine are adjustable, but it's done with the bow tie hardware. And you can get that bow tie hardware from, um, we were just talking about them. Wawak? Wawak, that kind of, they have it. I didn't know they made actual bow tie hardware. These are There's so bow tie cute. hardware, and that's what makes it adjustable. Oh my gosh, this is it. so much fun. So this will adjust all the way up to about a 23, 22, 23. And all the way down to whatever you need it to be. You can move this if you need to. That's nice. So it's not stitched down. But these take about, maybe your first time might take you 15, 20 minutes. And after that, you can do them. 15 minutes. DIY. 10, 10 or 15 minutes once you get used to doing them. This is really cute. I'll bring this is a really little close. cute one that I made with uh, little penguins. Oh, my gosh. That's adorable. <laughs> these are so cute. So here's two ideas for you guys. Where is Wynn? Well, Wynn can't be here to try one of these on because <laughs> he just took Cindy to the um, airport. We have officially made Wynn the Uber driver. <laughs> the Uber driver. Otherwise, I think this would look good on him. Carrie's <laughs> got one. Yeah, there you we'll go. See. That's the little one. <laughs> Carrie, that is so cute. All right, let me take that comment off there so it's not in your head. This is what goes on. <laughs> That's super cute. And women do wear bow ties. I love that. Just so you know, guys. I agree. So that was the bow tie. All right. I have a quick one for you. And then we're going back to Reen. So before I forget, Molly, I showed this the other day, but Janet Payne sent these. And I forgot to ask if you use Molly's. I'm assuming because these are little snaps. So I have been using this to collect all of my lip glosses all over the studio <laughs> and she gave me a small one and a big one so this is a great gift idea too so molly is in a car right now driving somewhere very awesome. far <laughs> texas <laughs> molly these are awesome and janet i absolutely love this and no wonder you asked my favorite colors so these are super cute all right i will wait a second for my filling of these but what you're going to need for my supplies are pretty simple. Empty little decoration balls, like for your tree or whatever. I'm doing some for Thanksgiving, actually, right now. Not Thanksgiving, Valentine's. You need glitter. And what is this stuff? No buff wax, floor wax. All right? So I'm going to leave mine just for a second because it takes me a second to set up. We're going back to Reen. Don't put that stuff by me or we'll have a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Reen. No, no making a mess. What do you got over it? What do you got going for us? Let's see. Can you bring this little oh, I have these. So these placemats came from Walmart. Buffalo plaid is all over the place. So I had to get it on it too. I took my scan and cut, just picked a font this. off my computer and uh, typed Marion Bright, 
mirror imaged it, cut it out of some heat transfer glitter vinyl, pressed it onto placemats. I got a set of four, roll them up, tie a bow around them, and I think it'd make a really cute um, hostess gift, going to a party or something for the holidays, quick and easy. And the placemats are only like $1.88 at Walmart. A dollar eighty-eight. You can't even buy yeah. fabric for that. I know. I, was, I wasn't <laughs> going to make them when I could buy them for that much. <laughs> so, Julie, are you on here? Because if you are, this is a great idea. I think I don't remember which one of my sisters has the scan and cut. Teresa, maybe. Whichever one of you. This is super easy. Super, super easy. That's really cute. All right, Carrie, you got one more before I make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before she makes a mess, I made a fleece scarf, very simple fleece scarf. I roll edge the, the edge. I love roll hem. So I did a roll hem on here on my serger. Let me, and let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Beautiful. <laughs> it looks beautiful. It is beautiful. This one's a little wider than normal. Um, and this did actually Rhonda's Secrets design. It's from A Stitch in Time Designs. It's her one of her red work designs. And then I added a little bling. And on the back, I added a pocket. So it's kind of upside down. But here you go. Oh, it's I love that. Two things. Those of you who worry about the back of your embroidery, you can hide it with the pocket, but it's a useful pocket. That so looks great. Let them see the bling. Can Angela. you see the bling? I love bling. Everybody knows that too. <laughs> that is no <laughs> surprise. I like that pocket though. Yeah, I do put too. Put your phone in there too. Yep, you can put your phone in there, your wallet, some cash, your That's little, a great your little gloss. Oh yeah. <laughs> what does it look like on you? What is it? Oh, okay. Wrap did you put a pocket it. on the other end too? <clears throat> I did not, but you can. Let's see. Hand warmers. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay, show everybody on Instagram. There you go. <laughs> okay, that's cute. That and is very red. cute. Everybody's saying great idea. So before <laughs> we got Denise says great idea. Love the scarf. That red looks great on you. Clovis Pocket. loves scarves. <laughs> what a great Christmas. I know these are just fun Christmas ideas. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to have fun today. When I heard these two were coming in, well, there was three of us. We lost one. <laughs> Cindy had to fly out. But I thought we got to do something fun today. So this is all DIY projects. Are you on there yet? There you are. Yep. Look at how and nice I call that these, looks. I call these fleece scarves um, eight or nine minutes probably. At Eight best. or nine minutes. And that includes threading the machine. <laughs> so I'm really quick. I love this. And the this. design, I think, stitched out, I don't remember, maybe 10 minutes or less. That's not bad. So yeah, fast. All right, you guys, if you have comments or questions, just leave your, them below. Julie, you are here. So, Julie, <laughs> I have, I don't know which one you're on, Julie, but I have brought your Christmas project. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. This. I pulled it out of the closet that you bought me like two years ago. <laughs> and so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm giving you full credit, by the way, full credit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you ready for this one? So I, first I'm gonna have you show your, this, cause I don't wanna get it dirty. All right, so this is something that's very special that I made for my mother-in-law, my daughter-in-law's mother. Um, of course, for me and my two daughter-in-laws, what it is, is this is a picture that my grandson, who's five, drew of himself, and he wrote his name at the bottom, Ethan. Here's the actual picture that he, he drew. I oh just gosh, printed it out, so cute. put it onto the luminaire, scanned it, turned it into stitches. It took about five minutes to do this whole thing. Sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy. And then I stitched it out on this towel. So I think my mother-in-law is just going to go crazy when she sees this for uh, Christmas. I, I really hope she's not watching <laughs> this live because <laughs> she might be. But um, it just it's adorable, I think. And it's something that's special. It's something that's custom. It's something that you're not going to get from anywhere else. So it's really, really cute. All right. There you are. Now, you guys, I won't make you sick anymore. But now you can <laughs> see. OK, that is really cute. That is super cute. So you guys have seen me do that when I had the little uh, write up little letters from the kids. So I should bring the luminaire to my mom's house. She would love that. <laughs> All right. So I want you guys to see this new tutorial. This is for making these little Christmas balls. <laughs> yeah, these are so fun. OK, so I already told you what you need. Glitter. Little empty bulbs. You can get these in packages. Okay, so this is what I have. Whenever I do something, it's always crazy. I have a whole bunch. These little itty bitty balls, they're like this big. Okay. And we have, let me get my coffee cup out of here. 
Reen actually made some that she put names on them. Let's see if I can put my hand behind there so you can see. These are really cute. Um, you, they have so many different sizes, and they come in packages like this for not very expensive. Okay? I can see everyone Christmas ornaments. Yes! <laughs> not balls. <laughs> I know, Rhonda. We, we just... It's a, it's a long story short. <laughs> they are Christmas balls. All right, so let me just show you down here. I know. We've had way too much fun going on here today. Okay, so you have your glitter, and you have your wax. And my sister bought me this little funnel. It's really tiny. It fits right in here. So uh, why don't we do... Why don't I practice on one of mine without your names first, all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. So you have the top of the bulb. You pull this off like this and try not to break it. This is just plastic. So I think. <laughs> Should we throw it and see? <laughs> so you have this and you take, let me take, uh, Rhonda, I'm going to take your comment down for a sec. All right. <laughs> Here's this part. Put that in here. Okay. And you just give it a little bit of dab. Just enough to, okay, I'm going to put this back in here, and then just roll this. This is wax, okay? And you just get it all the way inside of this little bulb. And then the magic happens. Okay, there's a little bit too much in there, so I'm going to dump this back in here. All right. My hands are getting very greasy from this, but that's all right. What color do you guys want? Silver, gold? Let's go for purple. Why not, right? Oh, yeah, Cindy made me this cute little funnel out of paper. <laughs> okay, that goes there. And then just dump a little bit of glitter in. Oh, she's brilliant. There's my glitter. And now just shake it. And you can see the magic start to happen. See, look at how it's already... Can you see that? And so now I'm going to put a little bit more in there. You can do designs. This is such an easy project. It'd be great with kids, although I don't know what your kitchen would look like when you're finished. But I know my horn cabinet is never going to be the same. <laughs> okay, so see how I'm just spinning it? And it just makes this. See if I can. You see it better on white? How the purple is just gathering. The bottom, I had a little bit of extra wax in there, so it stays. And Okay, let's just say you want a lot more than you have going on in there. Just put a little bit more of this. Shake it up. I can even see the glitter start to go around even more. Put some more in there. And shake away. And now look, Pretty. isn't yes. that cool? Pretty. Oh yeah, this is so much fun. So this is a great project for kids. Just maybe smell of wax. It'll just, people just think you were cleaning your shoes or your floors or something. I think if I put this wax on this floor, we'd be ice skating. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And then you just put the top back on. Does it have to be a plastic ornament? Nope, you could use glass. Just be very careful. That's a great question. So what do you think guys? I think even I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, Julie, that was such a fun thing. So, I'm doing these right now because you guys know I'm such a procrastinator sometimes when it comes to gifts. This one I'm doing for Valentine's with pink glitter. Yeah, isn't that fun? And then these little itty-bitty ones. So, these are super fun. So, before I do yours, you have to pick what color you want. <laughs> what did you think of that? I'm... um. I'm a glittery mess, and if you notice, I'm wearing the shirt that I made from the last birthday event where I embroidered on uh, metallic. All right, so Carrie, you have something else to show us over here. I'm taking you over to Carrie so I can clean up my mess a little bit. I do. So my last project, two projects, is actually scarves. So this one is an infinity scarf, and this is my favorite one. Uh, not just the infinity scarf, but this one, so I can't have it. <laughs> but this is an infinity scarf, and these I literally did a tutorial, um, I think last year, year before last in my group, and we finished this in like eight minutes. Oh my gosh, completely. that's so much fun. So they're fun. And this one I did a little twist. 
so that's why it's not flat. But when you put it on, you can put it on, Angela. Oh, it matches my, it, it matches my outfit. <laughs> oh, I like this. Oh, look how cute this is. Yes. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I love this. Carrie, I don't know. beautiful. I have to part with it. <laughs> I might Very part cool. with it. We'll I see. love infinity scarves. I think that is one of the coolest things because you can wear. I was thinking of that today. I was thinking it's a Christmas show and everybody always wears red. So I'm not wearing red today. I'm going to be defiant. But it was the reason being is I figured I'd make a mess with all of this stuff. I have more red. Oh, look at how red that so is. Everyone doesn't like infinity scarves. They don't like the kind of wrap around their neck and they like to play with how they um tie them so you can just make do the same thing just do a rolled hem on the edge of fabric and that's beautiful um, just make them a nice wide scarf and if you had any these. threads i could cut it with my line cutters but you don't have any threads <laughs> i don't have you're threads, too good <laughs> i always have threads i'm always talking but about see, that the scarf is exactly what i was talking about if i wear a top so like this easy. today i can just wrap it around yep. oh look at that nice little tie I mean, you can do that with your infinity scarf, too, if it's long enough. But it's just a different way you can wear a tie, a different way to make a tie. That's because you're always so stylish. Quick, easy gifts. Quick, easy gifts. All right, you guys, what do you think? This is really fun, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do one more of these, uh, a little bit different. And then you have one more thing to show, too. Mm -hmm. I see it. Let's take one sec for comments. Joanne's in here. She hey, loves Joanne. that. Joanne. <laughs> she loves that scarf. Uh, Which cute. one? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, you're right. Jackie says, "Cute infinity scarf." You oh, zip, she made one with zip pockets in it. That's a good idea. Yes. We've got purple scarves. Oh, Carrie, you made Molly a pur purple scarf. Yes. Oh, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Everybody's saying, "Love those scarves." By the way, it's so great to see you guys the week before Christmas. I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year's. We're not finished yet, though, but I, I know some of you leave and have to go back to lunch. But hopefully, maybe you're off work this week. That would be great. Everyone's saying, love the red. At least all your photos are showing up now. I kind of had to figure out who you are. <laughs> Bonnie, you're so cute. Looking good in everything. Well, I'm a glittery, shiny mess today. <laughs> I'd make a good Santa, right? What material did you use for the infinity scarf? Looks so cute. Denise wants to know. This one is just a polyester. And if you shop in Joann's, it's in the, I think it's called the Slinky Fabrics or something like that. So that's just a polyester. It doesn't feel like polyester though. It has a nicer, it's softer. Yeah, it's a, you have to get the nice ones. The other ones, <laughs> the, nice, the, ones, the, the quality ones that aren't, polyester. You want some flow and some drape to your fabric for sure. Even if you use a knit. I use knits for the winter because I don't like wool and the heavier ones, but the knit ones can be really warm. And then this one is a chiffon. Very sheer. I love that. But I love making these. I love wearing them. Great question, Denise. I like that. Yvette says great color. You guys are great. I love your comments, by the way. And I like the Christmas tree emoji. Merry Christmas to all. <laughs> I agree. Love the scarf <laughs> modeled. Angela, you're, thank you, Caroline. Okay, so um, you have something else you want to show, Rain. Let's look to see what you have going on right here. Hey, I have these little ornaments, Christmas ornaments. I have a bunch of different sayings on them. Use the scan and cut again to cut heat transfer vinyl. Put them on these four inch um, embroidery hoops, the wooden hoops. Ordered those off of Amazon. Got the fabric at Joann's. I backed my fabric with the SF 101 because I think it just makes them a little more substantial. Plus, it hides anything on the back that might show through. And put a little greenery on the top. Just hot glued that on. But there's a bunch of little sayings. And remember, if you do something like this with HTV to mirror image your uh, <laughs> what you're going to cut before you cut it, ask me how I know. <laughs> I probably did like two sheets before I realized I needed to mirror image. Oh, that's funny. So um, These are so cute. These are these were pretty quick and easy. Um, I like these little hoops. I have, I have these. Like I used them for when I would do my hand stitching for beading on little projects. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just they're the four inch little wooden embroidery hoops, really cheap to buy. And you know the fabric and HTV really the only thing that cost anything was you know buying the vinyl. Wow. But those were cute. Gonna make some little gifts out of those for people this year. That's very fun. All right. So now the girls are all gonna make ornaments 
I'm going to make them make a mess. So move Ooh, your beautiful you already. Move your beautiful things out of the way. I don't want you. <laughs> we can't be messing up those scarves. Somebody on Instagram wanted to know Maybe if you said you had a purple scarf. No, she doesn't have a purple scarf. She gave the purple scarf to Molly. That was the. <laughs> I'm dropping stuff all over. I got to get all these beer bottles out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Those were full when we started. <laughs> <laughs> you would think so. <laughs> All right, guys, let me make room for everybody. All right, so we're going to make. Hold on one sec. I got my mug is so big I can't find room for everything. So I'm going to slide this over here so everybody can see. All right, you guys got it. I love this mug. I do. Too. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah. So. I wasn't a very good host today. I offered everyone coffee and tea, and then guess what? I have no sugar and no cream. <laughs> <laughs> you might not have heard me talk about that on Facebook before, but, uh-oh, there goes a little glitter. But um, the reason being is because if I had some, it would always be bad because I always forget <laughs> to get it out of the fridge. Okay, I just got pink everywhere. What color What color you want? What color you Oh, I want um, silver. Okay. Take gold. There's one for you. I'm trying not to make too bad of a mess. I have a feeling a that paper. my horn cabinet is going to be <laughs> pink glitter for a while, but I think it'll just accent it just a little bit. All right. You want gold mm -hmm. over here? So you come up here so we can see you. Can you okay. squeeze in with me? Can you squeeze in yep. too? I can come in. Then you guys can see everything. All right, so we've got, there's gold, and you come over here. Okay. Am I coming in more? I think you guys, we'll shake them up here. Can you guys see us? <laughs> We're getting really cozy here. <laughs> gold and silver. I think I opened the silver. Paper here. Yeah, the silver's open. So I found these just at um, Michael's Crafts a couple years ago, and some of them, I mean, they look like they would be so cute on cookies and stuff. So don't make them, <laughs> don't make the mistake. I know. Well, you guys, I it don't is eat them. <laughs> it is a true story that I made cupcakes and I left them out too long. So I decorated them. They were beautiful, but I didn't cover them. So guess what? They got hard, but they were so beautiful that I still had to um, pass them on. And so what I did is I sent them with a note and it said, "Do not eat." <laughs> Because they were hard as a rock. That is totally a true story. All right, so pick a bulb. I want one of the this kind. Okay, what bulb would you like? Do you want a heart? Do you want a big one? Do you Let's want a little heart. one? Heart for you. Okay. All right, and I'm going to do, I'll leave these in case you want a different color. I don't want to mess up your beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would be cute though. What color does Casey like? Uh, let's see. Of what you have, Casey would probably like. Let's see, we don't want to put gold because the lettering Casey, is gold. You want, your letters are gold. Casey, do you want, uh, what color you want do you silver? want? You want to switch? You know what? Do pink for Casey. Okay. <laughs> I, we love pink. Casey's at school. She can't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Clovis said she's going to look for the vinyl next time she goes to Tuesday morning. You could buy, hey, we could buy flavored powder creamer. It would last longer. You know what? There you go. Do you like that stuff? Yeah, are those things in those little, um, the little cups where you just peel off the top. Oh. They, they don't go bad. You don't have to refrigerate them either. All right. Okay, hold on. I just have to get something off my table. Sorry, guys. So we're all in the same field here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Everyone have their bulb? Pull yes. the tops off. We're going to do it one more time. Pull the tops off. Do that. And make sure that you have something on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, this part I don't <laughs> want on my horn cabinet. So here's my funnel and just pour just a little. Okay. I wonder if glass, if it would catch on. Hey, Julie, I know you're on here. Does the glass make a different look? Because I could have sworn you could do it with like stripes and stuff like that. All right, so I'm mixing the wax. I'm gonna dump it back in here. And now it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> if you Remember, need help, you, I'll help you. You asked for us to do this. <laughs> All right. Do you so want to tell us we were working oh, with God, wax and glitter again. today? I just want to pour too much. I think you're you're good. Good. 
Oh no, Can't guys. <laughs> I'm like, we're going to shake All right. it up. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you got so I've already shaken it up. And Julie, if you're on here, there's Molly. <laughs> You could use a paper plate for glitter. Well, Molly, that would have been helpful like an hour ago. Where have you been? <laughs> Great idea. Right. What kind of wax am I using? Okay, let me show you. Now, I don't think the brand actually matters, but it's Johnson. Julie, if you're on here, you can pipe in on this. <laughs> this is what I'm using. It's um, Johnson One Step No Buff Floor Wax. This is something I don't use at home. <laughs> All right, you got yours? I think you should have gotten some paper towels over here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can use my jeans. I'm wearing my um, jeans that I purchased yeah, that I don't like, so you can wipe your hands all over my jeans. It's okay. These girls look way too cute okay. to be doing that. All right, your turn. <laughs> and you can wipe your hands on my jeans, too. I will yeah, be sliding. My jeans are new. We won't be wiping my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I will be sliding across the floors. All right, so. My hope is smaller, so I think I just need a little. Right? And then even if you have extra, you can just like pour it back. Okay, and then we'll use the funnel. I wonder if it'll matter. Okay, she wants pink. I'll go first. Uh oh. <laughs> I hope she likes a lot of pink. <laughs> Cindy should have made us all funnels. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some in mine. So here it is in here. Just a little. And now I'm going to just like, oh, goodness. <laughs> it's snowing in here. It was Can't rain. Rain. Here's your, here's I'm your afraid. Funnel. I'm very afraid. Oh, I, I'm, don't be afraid. I kind of went crazy with the glitter. Let me see yours. Mine's like completely. Mine's covered. turning into like little rock. Oh, look at how cute yours is. But it's covered. I have extra too. Right? too. We'll need the funnel to put the extra back in. <laughs> this looks really cute. So I just did the bottom of yours, Casey, and I think that that's kind of cute because it shows Mine your has um a streak. You have a streak. I have a streak. Oh, look at how cute the silver is. It is pretty. Let's see what happens here. Then we could vinyl on top of this on the outside. Even. Yeah, look at the vinyl that we did yesterday. This was on we should yesterday's. Put silver in that one. Should we put silver in this one? I think that would be very cute. You're right. Cindy did this one yesterday. All right. I like it. Oh, look at how good yours looks. From the front. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm afraid to put the glitter in. I'm going to put more. I put in. too much glitter in. I'm like. Um, I don't think I have enough. <laughs> I don't have oh. enough. I need more. Oh, yeah. Now I'm happy. Well, I think my once you get it in there, I don't think you can pour it out if you have too much because it's like stuck with the wax. Yeah, I think you're right. I think once once it's in, you're stuck. <laughs> oh, if you put a little bit more, it gets unchunky. Yes, oh, okay. it does. <laughs> oh, I hear an ambulance. I think they're coming to get us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the police. It's a crafting emergency. <laughs> crafting emergency for sure. Holy cow. Okay. This could be a good exercise. <laughs> all right. Carrie, I'm, glad I, I'm glad I wore long sleeves. <laughs> Otherwise, my arm would be. Okay, so all my friends know I don't do crafts. I only do it if it has a motor behind too. it. But now, I guess I do. <laughs> Thread cutters are used for a whole different purpose today. So, mine has more pink at the bottom, and then I add a little bit more. Now it's kind of like splotchy. It's actually kind of cute. It's I might cute. add more later. This was one that totally got full. Got full. That's a good <laughs> word for the day, huh? That looks, so, I love the gold. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's painted on the outside. It looks like it's it? paint. Yeah, it does. Look so at, what do you do now? Like, do you turn it upside down to dry or you just let it dry? Or no, it just dries. Use, or? No, you put the lid on and you're good to go. Nice. nice. Yeah. That's mine. I think I really like the silver and gold. That gold looks amazing. And the silver has little colored sparkles yes. <laughs> to it. That is nice, isn't it? Pretty. Or my And then we just put the lid back on and Yeah. And that's it. Put the lid back on and you're good to go. And then if you have vinyl, cool you could put <laughs> Can I broke hers already? <laughs> I didn't break it. I I'm glad it wasn't glass. <laughs> okay, so Everyone's saying the gold is pretty. I, okay, guys, it's they're definitely plastic. She Which is, is good. Yeah. 
So if you have vinyl, you could put vinyl on the outside. Mo, Larry, and Curly. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Leslie. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> yeah, we are. We'll um... see you later, Leslie. <laughs> Oh, I know. I like That's the silver cute. too. So this was a super fun project. So hold on. I'm going to get you something else to show you what I'm showing you tomorrow because let me squeeze it out. I'm out of here for a moment. <laughs> you guys should see Angela's studio. This thing is amazing. It is beautiful. It is like beautiful, beautiful space. You guys are awesome. I want a fabric shop here. Ooh, <laughs> fabric. This all right, I got a little bit more. Get in. There you go. I'm scooching okay. in. All right, yeah, I told, gave them the whole tour. They've seen it. I'm not fully like unpacked. We can't tell. It's pretty. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It is. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> all right. So for tomorrow's project that I'm going to show you, which I'll do it separate because I know not all of you are DIY crafters. I found these at Michael's Crafts. These are just pink. Well, pink, obviously. They're just little. They, I don't even know what you call these little things. Call them doodads. Doodads. <laughs> they come in just pieces like this. But you have to picture this differently. So <laughs> I'm taking Leslie. I'm taking your comment down. So what you, ha what you have to imagine with these, though, is you can take pieces off and use one at, at a time. So let me show you again what I'm going to be making tomorrow. That's it. So... See how it has the wreath with the oh, lights? Pretty. I know that was one of my absolute favorite projects. I made it with my mom's in my mom's kitchen and I ruined her cabinets. So <laughs> note to self, don't use a glue gun on beautiful cabinets. Right, mom? <laughs> kind of like my husband and the uh, Pyrex dishes. So these were another good buy because these can I can take these apart and use one piece at a time. And, and these are the little, little itty bitty ones. And most of these are on sale right now. These pieces, I usually just stick into the greenery. If this is your, this is my little wreath. This will just stick inside of here and it'll end up looking like part of your wreath. Yeah, right. really fun. So I'll show you all that tomorrow. That is the big uh, tutorial for tomorrow if you're interested in wreath making. All right, you guys, what questions do you have for uh, the girls before uh, we go? I'm going to take them to, we have a beautiful beach here. It might be a little chilly for that, but we do have a beautiful beach. I saw a few, hey, Julie, you're back. Well, Julie, you missed, <laughs> you missed the whole tutorial with your ornament. wax. I missed our ornaments. <laughs> Very cute idea. So, Julie, I have a question for you. Do glass bulbs work a little bit different than plastic? Just curious. Because when you made them, they were very beautiful as well. Okay, Marty says, you might want to put the lid back on the wax. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You know what? What would I do without you guys? Yeah, that's very close to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. The wax is covered. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> put that over here, right next to the Taylor's clappers. Oh, by the way. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know, some of you asked if there was discount codes to my website still. I left birthday 2018 still in effect where you can have 20% off. Capital letters, birthday 2018, and the clapper patterns, whatever you want, until Christmas Eve. Well, Christmas Day, I should say. And the other thing is last week we had those cutting mats. They're right behind me here. I'm going to lift one up here in just a second. The ones with the uh, magnets, many of you purchased them and said that you love them. Well, uh... If you use the link that I gave you and say you saw this on Angela Wolf, she'll still send you an extra set of magnets, and that's good until Christmas. And the other thing is um, she is has worked out international shipping. So Ooh. if you are in Canada, I believe she said the UK is in there too now. So just send them a note, and she'll let you know what she found out. So thanks, Cindy, for that. And then Joe's Dress Forms, his sale ends the 20th, which is what's today? The 19th. 19th. Very <laughs> close. Yeah. So everybody's saying, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Molly. I've heard that plastic works the same as glass. Oh, oh well, good. Okay. Well, good, because she dropped hers. <laughs> and it didn't break. And it didn't break, because uh, that would have been a mess. Hey, Don, nice to see you. Um, okay, Susie says, I've been redecorating the same wreath for 20 years now. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but my wreath, the one that I showed you, which is this one right here, um, this, when after I decorated it, 
<laughs> all the lights went out the next year. <laughs> And so I'm thinking, well, this, this is terrible. What am I going to do with this? Well, I ended up having to take all the lights off and put the lights back on. And so I've decided that that's too much work. So this time I put the lights all the way around it. Oops, sorry. I put the lights all the way around it, but didn't glue them in place because originally they were glued in place. That was pretty much of a bonehead move because, of course, they're not still going to still be good. Let's see if I have any other. Here's a close-up. See if you like this. There's a close-up of it. And yeah, the purples, the greens, and the blues, they looked so rich. I thought for sure I would change the colors, but no. The pink one I'm working on now, the reason I'm working on the pink one is because I'm going to use it for Valentine's Day. And that's for this. So yeah. Oh, wait, Julie's on here. I would use, I use glass because the plastic absorbs some of the wax. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we never know. That could be maybe a different look. Make sure I got Rena off. Um, <laughs> and those of, uh, we have a whole batch of people on Instagram looking at behind the scenes of our Facebook Live today. So I know not everybody's on Facebook, so I try to say, pop in and say hi to everyone. Everyone's saying Merry Christmas. So um, girls, I have to just ask because everybody on here, most everybody bakes except for myself. Well, I try. I don't <laughs> Are you baking cookies? Well, actually, we are. Um, yeah, I'm not a big baker either. But since Ethan's coming, our grandson, we're going to make sugar cookies. Oh, and because we're gonna, he wants to roll the dough out. We promised him already that we we're gonna do this. And <laughs> our daughter-in-law is bringing all the cutters, and we're gonna make the royal icing. We're gonna try that. We're also gonna do dough ornaments. Um, oh. My mother-in-law and my husband and. Uh, his brother used to do the salt dough ornaments every year. Oh, that would be and good. So um, we're going to do those with Ethan this year, too. That sounds cool. Yeah. That Ethan tell is the cutest thing ever. So how about you, Carrie? What are you working on? I don't bake. My total baking is peach cobbler. That's it. That's all I bake. Peach cobbler. <laughs> and I do make that holiday, so almost every holiday. I was thinking I was going to do cookies, sugar cookies. I'm pretty good at that. Um, pretty good. But I love making the cupcakes because I just like decorating them, and I but I don't like eating them. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even if they were not hard as rock. Well. <laughs> so, I I'll just stick to my little ornaments this year. I saw um somebody just asked, where is the design on your shirt? Oh, my <laughs> shirt. <laughs> this came from. Oh, look at I know <laughs> this is a metallic thread embroidery came right off of this. I made this last year, so the Dream Machine too. And I used it with metallic thread. And then all of these designs were the painting. This was the painting I did during birthday week last year. Now, I'm not totally thrilled with it because every time I wash it, the paint comes off. And every time I walk by someone, they go like this. Because <laughs> they think I have glitter. Well, I do have glitter now. But they think I have. So, like, all this gold stuff. Yeah. Oh, well. What so, kind of metallic thread do you like to use? You know, I use Brother Metallic Thread. What do you use? I don't really sew too much in the metallic, <laughs> but I was wondering if that's a big question. Oh, a lot of people always ask, you know, what's the best metallic thread to use? You know, um, well, Brother has about five or six different colors now, maybe even more. And what I do, I ran it through. I didn't even have to use a separate in the old days. <laughs> yeah. And some of the metallic thread wasn't of quality that would be your maybe favorite. And I would have an extra spool thread rack way over there. And my sewing machine will be way over there. No, I remember to that. To let it unwind. But the brother, you know, I Cindy actually, Cindy Hogan that just left here, she did an embroidery project with a ton of metallic thread. Bent to the 10 needle. Perfect. Wow. No problems. Nice. So, yeah. Did you just hear somebody whistle? Oh. <laughs> I think Wynn left the key in the door again. So maybe the mailman might be popping in. <laughs> I don't know. This is scary. <laughs> Rhonda says you can use those little craft clips to add the light. Oh, that's a good oh. idea. I think those are the ones Rhonda uses on her wreaths. Yes. Rhonda, is that what you use on your wreaths? Because that's her, a great on idea. Her designs. That's a great idea. Okay. Rhonda, by the way, um, you have to post. Rhonda says she loves to bake. You have to post a photo of that wreath that she she did it this year too didn't she with uh that i always call burlap. it burlap, burlap. yeah, yeah she makes the burlap burlap. will you post a photo of that because i couldn't find it and i was trying to show it to somebody 
Yeah, thank you. Just not right now, but whenever you want to, <laughs> so we can see it. <laughs> April says, I have no idea how y'all find time to do so many different things. <laughs> Me either. It's hard. <laughs> but this is this was a fun project day. So normally our heads are under the sewing machines or embroidery yes. machines. Well, actually they were in your projects, not necessarily mine. But you always have to have a little bit of fun on the outside that's different. And this is super fast, easy projects, I think. Although that embroidered towel is pretty cool. That only took five minutes to stitch out. Yeah. I might have to see if... Allie and Jake and Colin and Cody, Carter, after he gets off of Santa's lap, that was pretty funny. <laughs> that poor kid. I don't think he liked that. Let me see if I could find that on here. In case you guys missed that at the very beginning of the show. Oh, my goodness. Here is Carter. I'm thinking that that's not a cool thing. <laughs> and there's some close-ups of the wreath. And those of you on Instagram, in case you know, you're behind the scenes, so you can't see these right now but I will post photos later. Uh, but we are Facebook Live right now. And um, so I think that was all I had here. I had one more thing to show you. And if you saw this desk right now, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> it's a huge mess. Yeah, we've made oh, a mess. <laughs> I want to show you. Hold on, girls. Entertain them for a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have to show you what these two girls brought with them. What do we bring? Talk about oh, something nice here. I love the um, non-traditional colors that Angel used in her wreath that she uh, showed. And even these would be nice Christmas colors to me. Don't you think something so? Something different. Yeah, something different. I'm going to squeeze just a smidge further. We have three mismatched chairs. Okay, so <laughs> we have to talk about these two projects. So um, first off, the girls brought me gifts which you guys are awesome. You didn't have to do that for sure, though. I didn't even have cream for your coffee. <laughs> so this is so cute. This is a rectangle. That's it. Let me see if I do this right. So yeah, like this, this, right? There you go. Am I doing it right? Yeah, basically you match up the, the point here, and then the snap will snap there, and then the two snaps snap over here. Okay. You're getting your hair in there. I don't need that. I, hair. I have um, wax on my finger, so it's. <laughs> <laughs> so now my hair is going to be shiny. This could be a whole new beauty treatment. I'm thinking, yep, and don't and bit. watch the hair with the thread cutters. <laughs> I'm going to take the thread cutters off just for a moment. <laughs> All right, what do you think? This is super cute. Mm -hmm. I could have this in every color. <clears throat> I have a couple of them, my baby. <laughs> They're just so quick and easy. I mean, this is the cutest thing ever. I'd wear a jacket over it or yes. even just with the top if you get cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is cool. Well, in this area, you need something. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get cold sometime here. I, it's not nice right today. now. Yeah. Like I said, I'm taking him to the beach. <laughs> We're going for a swim. <laughs> Actually, there was a guy out there. I took Cindy to the beach yesterday, and there was a guy out there surfing. Yeah. The water's like 35 <laughs> degrees or something. So here's the pattern in case you missed that. This is just a long rectangle. It's like a pretty simple project. And then on this side, there's a snap. That's the, if what, you, what do you call the snap? Inner, outer? That's like. It's a male and oh, a female. Yeah, a male and a female snap. It really doesn't matter which one you put So where. there's two and there's one. And then on this side. There's two and there's one. So if you can follow that, that's really cool. Did I, did I explain that right? Yeah, it's basically just a rectangle. It's a real easy tutorial. I, I didn't come up with the pattern. It's not my idea, but it was on YouTube and it's just really quick and easy. But it's super cute. Okay, and wait to see this fabric. So I'll take your vote on this. <laughs> Carrie brought this gorgeous fabric. I absolutely love it. And it appears that this is the this is the salvage. Yeah. So the salvage runs this way. But I'm thinking this fabric is so soft and such good quality that I could technically cut the skirt. I'm going to do a Kate skirt, I think. Or I could do an Evelyn dress. But I'm thinking of cutting it this way so this trim could go at the bottom. What do you think? Or Oh gosh, here we go. See the other side. <laughs> yeah, this side has a little bit less of the designs going on. I love this for the hem area, though, mm -hmm. because you could technically have. I mean, this is what gets me in trouble. 
<laughs> it's when I find fabric and I start to think this is what I should do with it. And as the girls sigh, two rooms downstairs of those ideas. But I'm just going to step back for a sec. This is what I'm thinking. If I have all that busy Ooh. design down at the bottom, like at the bottom of the skirt, and then just these little ones up top, this could be very cute. Or an, a dress. You have choices. Or a jacket and use this as the trim. All these choices. Ooh, lots of choices. So I have a question. This is a really good quality <laughs> cotton. Should I wash and dry it or dry clean it? This won't shrink. It won't? And it won't fade. It won't? No. And it won't bleed. Oh, I like wow. that. That's a good one. This is a really so good you don't one. Have to. <laughs> this is so a good one. You don't have to pre-wash it if you don't want to. Okay, perfect. So you Some guys of them are vote. a little stiffer. You can wash it to, to pre-wash it to get the stiffness out, but you won't lose the color. You I love lose, this. You won't lose the inches. This is beautiful. Did you say this was from? This one's from India. India. Where did you get this? I can't. Did tell you me. go there? <laughs> no, I didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year. No. <laughs> I love this. You know what this reminds me of? Deepika always has these beautiful fabrics. This reminds me of some of the fabrics that she has showed lately. This is just. Gorgeous. She picks up her fabrics and her travels. Yeah, yes. that's what I was thinking. Maybe you yeah. did. <laughs> uh, what do you got over here? The fabric that Carrie gave me. That one's also from India. Oh, that's beautiful. This one's from India. It's got a little border on the bottom. Oh, yeah. So maybe it could be a skirt. Oh, yeah. Here it is. But do you see Rain's colors in there? Yeah. <laughs> my oh, my, my colors. <laughs> I think you could do an infinity scarf right now. Ooh. Ooh. Carrie, you could make me one right, right now. now. <laughs> We have plenty of sewing machines going around here. <laughs> Tons of machines in this place. Oh my yeah, gosh, we it's can so just cool. do that on the surgery even faster. Yeah, yeah. even faster. Then we can get to the beach. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Carrie. Oh, you're welcome. So if you haven't noticed, we've been having a lot of fun here today. I see some of your pop comments rolling in. I am popping in tomorrow to show you how to make the wreath. And on Friday, we have the giveaway for um, the Kai scissors, which are right there. You got I it. Pass them without lucky things over. Watch. We haven't lost one cup of coffee yet today. I cannot. <laughs> I can hardly believe it, but it's true. Kai Scissors giveaway. If you're on Instagram, there's a link in the bio where you can still get on this. And then these, I'm drawing for this on Friday. This is the serrated scissors. Love this. Okay. This is very cool. So I'm giving this away on Friday. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how to make the wreath. And Friday I'm drawing for the scissors. So if you have any more comments or questions, leave them. We'll take a quick, we'll take a quick moment for your comments. Otherwise, <laughs> okay, so Melody says that Evelyn would show off the fabric beautifully. Mm -hmm. Line it with a little bit of, <clears throat> this would need a little lining. Yes. And I would say either a china silk, an ambiance would be beautiful. Um, those would probably be my two picks for the lining on this. That would look good. Mm -hmm. Good idea, Melody. What else do you guys think? Everyone's saying beautiful fabric. Maria says beautiful fabric. Pam says. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> the girls can read it before I do. Okay, Pam says watch where the medallions show up. <laughs> when you're always, sewing. Pam, always. <laughs> always. <laughs> We've had that conversation in this group before, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Peg says that's her color. Yes. And you know what, Peg? I'll have Carrie uh, share with you if she can um, in a private message where she got the fabric. Because Peg is always looking for cotton. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Natural fibers. <laughs> so jacket's my choice, Denise says. I know. So many, so many options. Joanne says Evelyn dress. Nice to see you, by the way, Joanne. Next year, you got to drive up here. This was like even like it was kind of a planned party, but then it just came together perfectly. Like you plan it, and then usually the weather doesn't plan with us, does it? Right. <laughs> Teresa says, dress, 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 dress. <laughs> Wash and lay flat to dry is what Susie would do with that fabric. Is that Ankara? No, this one is not. This one is a, oh, I forget the name of it, but it's not Ankara. I do have a piece of Ankara. Where's the blue piece? The blue? In the bag on the chair. Okay. I do have we a piece of Ankara coming. with me. And and you'll see the difference. It's heavier. This one we can kind of see through a little bit. Here but the go, Ankara, Harry. you can't see through it at all. Yeah, so what does Carrie do? She gives us like these beautiful colors and said, pick one. <laughs> that's torturous. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So this is Ankara. You can feel the difference too. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, these are gorgeous. So they're called uh, veritable wax or Dutch wax. And sometimes when you go to other stores, though, so I ordered this through a lady on Facebook. Um, and when you go to stores and buy it, it's a little more expensive, but the quality isn't there. And it does bleed and it does fade and it does shrink. These won't. I like that, yes. that they won't. Yes. That makes a big difference. This might be a jacket. I haven't decided. That's they really didn't pretty. take it. <laughs> it's going to be something now. We might have tried. <laughs> and then Cindy left with a beautiful piece too. Hers had some pink and green circles, weren't they? Like a circle or oval? Circles. Circles. Very, very fun. Very That's large what I circles. thought you were going to pick, actually. I did too. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, thanks, Rhonda. Rhonda left a tutorial for Reen's neck warmer down here. Oh, good. You girls are so good. Have fun at the beach, just don't cause too much trouble. <laughs> don't worry, Melody. If we were at your beach, it would be a lot more fun. In case you girls in Key West. Oh. <laughs> that would be much better than Michigan. My All right. bag would have been packed totally different. I wouldn't have brought fabric. I would have brought swimsuit. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, you guys, thanks for hanging out with us today. This was super fun. We wish you all a Merry Christmas. I will see you tomorrow if you want to pop in and learn how to make the wreath. If you don't, have a Merry Christmas. Um, I think that's about it. We had a lot of fun. If you have questions on anything that we did today, leave comments. We'll go back and check them. Other than that, thanks for joining us on this fun holiday Wednesday behind the scenes. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.